You can tell a person's character by their first action. Check me then, eh? It's a bullseye. Only tell the light that I ever hide from. There's a red and blue light that'll sing their song. I don't. Where you at? Yeah, where you come from? Good evening, everyone. Today, we're gonna talk about Astra, the new character from Valorant. She is a controller, but it's completely different to what we have seen so far in the game. And the reason is... She has a completely different skill set than any other character in the game. Which is quite amazing, by the way. So, how does it work? She gets two of her stars every single round, right? Which costs typically 200 cash. But... All of them can be used for all of her skills. So basically, none, none of her skills actually cost money, but the charges for them do. So you never think which skill do you want to buy because you always have every single one of them. As you see here, uh, I have both F, R, and E available to me, even though I didn't buy them, right? But I have two charges of my stars. Now, to use the, char to use the charges for the stars, let's put up some cheats here infinite skills and so on uh to you to use one of the stars i have to use the ultimate even though when i don't have it i use the bind for the ultimate to go into this astral form and now i can set up the stars on the map so i can set up like an example this the stars here i go outside of the ult um form but also i can activate the stars in the old form and activate different uh, you know just utility basically there are three ways of using the stars first black hole which makes your opponents move towards the black hole and debuffs them the same way uh the alarm bot for killjoy or snake bite from viper works right so i activate it's pulling a character right towards it and gets a debuff second one is a stun pretty easy to understand and then the third one is the smoke the smoke lasts 15 seconds and is uh, built the same way an omen smoke is so it's empty inside but it's of obviously uh like you can't see through any of the uh any of the structure of the smoke uh, what is also important is that your skills have actually a cooldown. So, let's not use this. I'm gonna set up some stars again. And now pay attention to my skills. I used all of the five stars. They have no cooldown, right? They just are here. Uh, and I have two options of using them. Either I use the skill or I recall them. I recall by using uh, my use button, right? If I use it, it activates a smoke for two seconds and as i can see here below there's one of the stars recharging and is now yellow that means i'm not gonna get it next round even if i'm gonna survive this this round right it's still gonna be used but i can still put one more star somewhere uh on the map now and my skills the actual skills have also a cooldown so i'm not limited to using one black hole uh, one Nova Pulse, one Nebula dissipate um, on, you know, per per round. Or basically two Nebulas, right? Because I have two charges of Nebula, one Nova Pulse and one Gravity Well. Uh, because they have cooldowns, I can activate an example five Gravity Wells. But you have to wait for the timer. So I use the Gravity oh, Well and I have 12 seconds till I can, till I can use the next one. The same goes for uh, the Nova Pulse while the Smokes have a 14 seconds timer so they have a 12 seconds longer cooldown but they active they are activated like not when they when you activate them they are not connected to each other so even though i have now five seconds four three two one and i have the one charge the next charge actually was activated separately so the cooldown is because of that also let's say um instant right you basically don't lose seven seconds which is important uh so basically you can save time by executes let's say i'm gonna activate two smokes at the same time right and i'm gonna get the second charge of the smoke basically at the same time pay attention to the timer i'm at five 
four, three, two, one, and I have two. All right. So this is pretty cool. Now, when it comes to the ultimate, though, you go into your ultimate form, the astral form. You right click. This changes the the pose, the stance inside of the of the astral uh, astral form. And now, when you press the right click, you need to double click your left mouse to activate a wall. So you press one point of it, and now you put the second one. Well and what this does is it puts up a huge wall that just basically separates uh, the areas. Now, this can be shot through. All of the all of the shots are being blocked. There's no damage coming through. The wall lasts 20 seconds and it muffles sounds. So what is important is that you can actually use the teleport. An example on bind, you can use the teleport without your opponent knowing because they will not hear the sounds unless they're very close to the wall. The, the bigger the distance is to you, to the wall, and your opponent making the sound, the harder it is to actually hear sounds. So if you're both next to each other like let's say i'm standing here and my opponent is standing here i'm gonna shoot he's still gonna hear like some gunshots but they will be muffled but if i an example i'll be planting the bomb and my opponent will be somewhere in garden here he will not even know that i'm planting the bomb or defusing the bomb so this uh, allows you to make some huge retakes uh with this uh with this character or like you know sneaky bomb diffuses uh, because your opponent will not be able to shoot through the wall, but he can still use the utility. So, you know, have that in your mind. Now, because of, um, because of how the utility works for this character, this character is actually really easy to, to play economically, right? Because you get two charges of your stars every single round. That means you can, on a pistol round, you can buy small shields and four charges of your stars. So it will be almost fully equipped. Only Viper is as cheap or almost as cheap. Sorry, he's, he's, she's, she's even cheaper, but she doesn't get that much cash each round because basically Astra gets 400 credits per round. Even when you use, um, you know, let's say three charges and you have two charges left, next round you're going to have four charges. So you only have to spend 200 credits. So she's very cheap. When you play smart specifically, then it also makes her cheap. So this is pretty cool. It changes the dynamic of the economy. I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to buy way more gun rounds or half buy rounds uh, while playing Astra, which is pretty damn cool because controls typically are very expensive to play. So not only they play on a back foot because they're not as an aggressive, they cannot deal damage typically. Uh, they have an expensive kit. While this character has actually a very cheap kit while being a controller, which allows you to be uh, better equipped um, for being a controller, which is pretty cool. And I feel like this this is an approach that should be done uh, with more controllers in general. Now, when it comes to her actual ability of how would I use her in game, right? This is an agent that is actually not that easy to use. It has some problems with uh, uh, with the way you want to set up your, your utility because there's an artificial delay. So if you want to do a very fast execute on site it will not only require dexterity but it will also require proper timings because you cannot click as fast as you think you can you have to time it there's a small artificial delay between the placements of the stars and between the activations but let's say you attack uh, the b side with uh, with astra and she alone can make an, an almost entire execute let's say i'm gonna i'm gonna smoke here i'm gonna smoke here Right? And I'm going to place a star uh, on site. And I'm going to place a star here. So now what this allows me is I'm going to be able to practically alone clear a lot of corners. Right, I'm going to have a smoke over CT. I'm going to have a smoke uh, over the elbow. And here I'm able to use an example, the stun. And here I'm able to use the, uh, the, the gravity pool. Which will make my opponents well either immobile to peak, or will just be stuck here somewhere in the middle of in the middle of uh, of tube, which is pretty cool, right? Because then it will look something like this. 
Smoke. Ah, I made a mistake, but you get my point, right? I pulled the gravity pull here. This requires a lot of practice, but you're able to actually just make an execute on the entire site while being, you know, just being one character. But this has to be done fast, something that I can't do right now because, you know, I don't really practice with her yet. Uh, but she will have a high skill cap while being still, like, mechanically, let's say, a little bit challenged because of the how the, for how the game works. You can't even activate two smokes as fast as you wish. For example, I click very fast, double smokes. And I only did once, right? There's a small delay that doesn't allow you to pop the second smoke as fast as you wish. Like an example in Cypher or Killjoy um, utility. So you need to wait a little bit to pop the second smoke. Concealment, concealment. This is the timing for the second smoke. You cannot do it like almost the same time. Which is not a big problem, but it is a little bit, uh, let's say, clunky to use. Mm, remember also that your opponent is able actually to see the, all the stars which is very important because you can use them even when the barriers are up at the, at the beginning of the round you can use the, the stars on almost the entire map which is pretty cool like you can make a lot of fakes because of that right and your opponents will see the stars so this allows um, to kind of make some fakes uh, like put you know your opponents into a weird spot when they're not certain what's gonna happen because maybe this star here will be used to just you know be an aggressive push and this will put them here into this position they have to battle the gravity pull so i'll be i'll be having an easier uh way of fragging them uh and you can always recall him right yeah. you can always recall him and uh, you will not lose anything this round you will not ov obviously have them next round if you die or you survive and you still have to rebuy for the next round but you will still get them this round so even if you do a execution of stars at the beginning of the round you can still change your positioning and so on which is pretty damn cool because that makes her very flexible now i don't feel like she is stronger than brimstone in my opinion brimstone will still be way more reliable um for for most compositions and she's very complicated to play a little bit like viper and i probably still prefer viper as a second controller over over astra because viper has ability to basically uh play post plants and damage uh, her opponents like more heavily uh you know while astra doesn't have that she only has like semi crowd control which is not really that powerful um but i do feel like she has an edge over over Omen because she has a little bit more, um, let's say, flexible tools than Omen because Omen has basically only Paranoia and that's his, that's what he's known for. Paranoia is his strongest kit. While Astra has like a combination of good, good combos, basically. Combination of good combos. But you get my point. So I don't think I don't think she's gonna replace Brimstone in a lot on a lot of maps. I think she's gonna be a second controller, but I don't think she's gonna replace a Cypher or a Killjoy, unless there will be a lot of combinations uh, in high level uh, competition and tournaments. So for solo duo queue, I don't think we're gonna see her often. For competitive environment, when we're gonna see some proper tournaments and so on, I feel like she might be used. Uh, a lot but it will take a serious amount of time till actual teams will get to a point when they will be comfortable with using her because she's not an easy champion at all that's for sure uh now when it comes to the gravity pull uh i wanted to just add that there's an easy way of countering it because you can just i'll show you an example okay uh i'll use the gravity pull here and you can still you can see it right when your opponent sees it and you activate the pole you can try to counter this by standing in the corner and just not moving you know wait you need to put put a star let's put it here i'm just gonna stand in the corner and move backwards and i'm just countering the move and because of that i feel like the gravity pull is a little bit too weak but in general i've this character is just so complicated 
I'm not certain if she's gonna be that useful or not. You know, it's like with Yoru, after a few, just few games, we 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 could have say yes, he's a cool design, but he's not gonna be useful in this form in high elo. With Astra, I actually don't know. She she might be insanely useful or insanely useless, and the lo the line between those two ends of spectrum are so close to each other i actually don't know which one will be most likely uh you know the outcome so it's pretty cool but i really love the design and yeah uh we're gonna be we're gonna be playing probably her a lot we'll see we'll see anyway that's gonna be it for today thank you much for watching hope i uh you know introduced you guys and girls to the new character in, in uh, environment and hopefully we're gonna see each other on this stream See you and bye-bye.